The federal government has been urged to include gender studies in academic curriculum from primary school up to tertiary level. Making the call during a sensitization on gender-based violence, the principal of Government Girls Secondary School, Yola Rikfuatu Magaji, said the call has been imperative in view of the rising cases of sexual and gender-based violence in the country. The program was organized by the Southern Foundation for Peace and Development with support from the Spotlight Initiative. The reports. This is a sensitization program on gender-based violence in Yola, Adamawa State. The principal of Government Girls Secondary School was represented by Gilando Johanna Quem, a teacher in the school. The principal promised to step down the knowledge lent to other students of the school. The government should do something to include this issue of gender based. As for me, if you ask me, I would even prefer that the government should include at least gender studies from primary school, secondary, that is junior secondary school and senior secondary school. It will go a long way in curtailing this issue of gender based violence. And then thirdly, um, our legal system should be able to find a way of not only hearing, but they should be able to find stringent measure of punishing gender-based uh, gender violence. He called on the authorities to ensure stringent punishments on perpetrators of gender-based violence as they constitute a menace to the society. Also speaking, Amina Mohammed Ali, the program assistant of the foundation in Adamawa State, noted that the aim of the project is to work with relevant stakeholders, including traditional religious and youth leaders, to end the menace which has become rampant over the years. What we are trying to do is that in this second phase we are going to engage girls uh, and boys in secondary schools and also uh, boys in tertiary institutions to see how we can uh, bring a shift in the social and gender norms or gender stereotyping with regards to women and girls so that the girl child or the woman is allowed to, uh, uh, how would I say it, obtain her full potential in life and her livelihood so that she can be a better person for herself and the society. She called on the general public, especially parents, not to hesitate in reporting any form of gender-based violence, noting that the lethargic disposition of communities towards such cases makes perpetrators to be emboldened to commit more of such atrocities in the future. Some of the students spoke on gender-based violence noting that they were positively impacted by the knowledge acquired. They vowed to be good ambassadors of the campaign against any form of gender-based violence as it is inimical to the well-being of those affected. Girl, child and women are being violenced because they said they are the weaker sex. Like they, they said we have harmful traditional practice like harmful female circumcision. Even though we learn in order to help the, the future generation, it won't work properly because actions are not being taken. So the rape will, it will keep increasing and things are not going to move further. So I just suggest that they should do something. Also speaking, the representatives of the National Human Rights Commission, Fatima Mandara, urged the schoolgirls not to hesitate and reporting any form of sexual-based violence to the authorities, adding that our organization is always ready to receive and act on any form of human rights violation. If you should report it to your office. You understand? Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.